Welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. As you can see, we're in the basement, as we often are. Ooh, I almost walked into the fire, that would have been bad. Now, I have been uh, doing a few things off screen. I've dug some pits. I did finally get skill up enough. Ooh, our tailing and unarmed combat skills are rusting. But survival is now at skill one, cooking one, construction two. I've dug some pits, as I said. Uh, they're just shallow pits because all I've got is a digging stick. I need a shovel to make them deep pits. Now, I've been told in the comments that that would be very, very worth me doing. Now, my current speed is lowered compared to normal, though it's still saying 100 in the bottom, well, middle right, but I can only imagine it is down a bit. And that's due to our cold-blooded, uh, our heat-dependent trait. It is very cold right now, but if you notice my... Uh, encumbrance and warmth, things have changed a little bit. My torso is slightly encumbered. Now I'm going to go through what I've done. If we have a look at my equipment, or rather McJess's equipment, he's now wearing a ripped trench coat and a torn dress shirt, though he is wearing steel-toed boots. Uh, we had a bit of a running with a wolf whilst digging those pits, and although we beat the wolf to death with our bare and bloodied fists, it did do some damage to our clothing. Unfortunately, we do not have thread, and I wasn't able to get any sinew from butchering in order to repair these clothing, these pieces of clothing. So they're, they're ruined for now. We're going to have to work on that. But I have a plan for this episode. But before we do that, I think we should probably get a little bit warmer. Now, over here, I've got leather jacket and leather pants. The reason I've got these here is so that I can wear them just to rise my body temperature. These help while I'm sleeping. So if we now have a look at this, you can see we're incredibly encumbered, but our warmth is pretty good. It's not too bad. So we're gonna spend a little bit of time resting here and just let the fire carry on. Maybe we should get a little bit closer. I don't wanna get too close because I might catch fire. I don't trust McJester. He he's not the best survivalist in the world. And uh, Let's see, uh, it's still not really moving around. Perhaps we can uh, do a little bit more sleeping, actually. Now, we'll just try that whilst we're next to the fire. Uh, we lie down for a little bit. Uh, you try to sleep but can't. It's now three o'clock and we are no longer suffering penalty. Oh, we shouldn't be, it says we're comfortable. Hmm. Oh, oh, I see. It would appear that our cold-blooded nature doesn't respect whether we're warm because of the warmth of our clothing. It's purely based on the ambient temperature. That's interesting, and a little bit worse than I had hoped. Okay, well, I'll have to keep that in mind then. But I don't think we're going to be able to sleep for much longer. I don't want to sleep for too much longer anyway. So let's drop the leather jacket and the leather pants. Now, there are a few things that I want to work towards. One of them, if we now look at armor, we've got a lot of stuff we can make. There are a few things here. One of them, I want to make a leather pouch, because it doesn't encumber you, apparently, if we look at that. Though it probably would, because I'd have so many things on my on my torso, but uh, adds a little bit more storage. There's a house coat I would very much like, and we only need some more uh, thread for that one. And this gives 40 warmth, but covers the torso, the arms, and the legs. Also... The fur blanket. That one covers the torso, the arms, the hands, the legs, and the feet. And that gives 80 warmth. These would be very, very useful to have. Just so that we could sleep properly. Other than that, I've looked on the wiki. And it seems that to get a shovel, we'll be able to make a stone shovel. If I get survival skill of two. So that's probably going to be something that we're going to work on. Now, what's here? Good, it's just those. Right, we're going to go... Up and out. Have I got everything I need? Got my science ID card. And I may have just given away what we're going to be doing. Have I got my torch? I've got my flashlight, but it's only got 55 batteries. Let's go and see. I think I've got a radio or something in here that I can scavenge bits out of. Yes, I've got the radio. So we're going to take that and we're going to unload the radio. So unload that. I should now have batteries. Good. We'll drop the radio back in our electronics pile. I will eventually 
organize this place a little bit better once I've actually got the time and the need to. Oh, I got under the hood and how. Oh my lord, I forgot I had books! Damn it, all this time I've been spending sleeping, not doing anything? Uh, we need that mechanic skill, really. Okay, but for now. And one thing some people have pointed out is you can actually read by the light from a computer console, which is pretty funky. I think you'll agree. Now, what we're going to be doing... Uh, we're not going to be able to see anything out there anyway, are we? We're going to wander outside and hopefully... Actually, we'll close. Make sure these windows are closed. I did have them open for a little while whilst dealing with things outside. We're going to try a, a nighttime raid on the science lab. Now, the reason I want to do this at night is because the turret has regular optical um, targeting. So, it doesn't have night vision or any other funky kind of thing. It can only see me, pretty much. I don't know if it's got quite the same radius that I've got in terms of sight. That is very, very, very small. But uh, it's got something limited like that. So, what I want to do is I'm using the map up in the top right to navigate onto the forest tile over here. I've got to be very careful while I'm doing this. Because I could easily walk somewhere I don't want to be. Now there's a tree there. Okay, we're a little bit too far to the side. We want to come down a bit more. There's a bush. I wonder what's in there. Uh, yeah, okay. What do I find? I didn't find anything. Okay, fine. Okay, we found the lab. Now I'm fumbling around. I don't want to turn my torch on because if I do, the turret might see me. So, what we want to do is just work our way down. I think we're on a bit of road. Okay, here's the science lab. And whatever this is, swipe my ID card. Yes, I want to swipe the ID card. The nearby doors slide into the floor. Fantastic! We're now inside. Ha ha! Now, let's just have a look around. There's doors there. Stairs, stairs there, okay. And doors on the bottom side. Now, even in the old cataclysm, I didn't generally get into a science lab. So, uh, yeah, new territory for me. We're going to get in here, and hopefully it's not going to be full of something terrible, and I'm going to turn my uh, flashlight on. Okay. Let's reload this, actually, whilst we're here. So, reload that. Now, what have we got in here? Nothing too bad by the looks of it. We've got cocaine. Okay. Excellent. Socks, glow stick, a drama novel, reading glasses, a baseball cap, a cheap lighter, and scissors. All right. We're going to take it all. We want the socks. Is there anything in here? Oh, duct tape, skirt, suit. Oh, a suit. We'll use those. Well, we'll take the drama novel. If nothing else, we can use it to burn. Definitely want the glow sticks. That brings us up to a couple more. Nothing in that dresser. Now, the big thing with the cocaine is this will increase a number of things when we take it. We've got to watch out about being becoming addicted because being addicted to anything in the apocalypse is bad news. But cocaine will give you a slight boost to your um, intelligence. Ooh, cargo pants as well. And that will become very, very useful for us if we want to install any sort of uh, cybernetic implants. Because that relies heavily on your intelligence. And our intelligence is 10. It's okay. You know, it's above average by two points, in fact. But getting up somewhere around like 14, 15, 16, maybe, that would be where I would start feeling comfortable installing those crazy things. Unless I had a very high electronic skill, which is the other option. Okay. What's in here? What are all of these crazy things? Let's have a look. We've got a counter, and we've got a computer console. All right. Anything on these counters? No. What about you? Uh, no. Uh, well, quit. I don't want to bypass security, because I have no idea what that would do to me. Ah, these are beds, aren't they? Ooh. You know, maybe we could turn this science lab into a, our base. It would be risky, because that turret out there, and thankfully I, uh, okay, thankfully uh, my flashlight didn't reach the turret. What on earth is that? 
a teleport pad. Hmm. A USB drive. Okay, we'll take. Now, we could deconstruct most of this stuff. And might get some interesting things from it. Now, this is where it gets really risky. From what I've read, Science Labs, the top layer is generally fairly easy going. It's when you get underground. When you get into the really deep stuff down there that stuff gets risky for you. Uh, so far, our light isn't shining on anything too dangerous. And we have got safe mode on, so if we encounter a turret, hopefully it'll stop us. Uh, we'll take the screwdriver. So many things that we can deconstruct for materials down here. Alright, that's that side done. Okay, let's do this side as well. Anything in here? What have we got? A goo pit. Oh, that's not good. If we do make this our lab, we'll probably be living upstairs. <laughs> or bordering up that door. Or maybe even de deconstructing that door entirely and building a wall there instead. Right, what's over here? Uh, hmm. Cloning vat. Okay, maybe I could get some stuff out of that. Um, oh, wait. I know what this is. There's a mutated leg, a mutated arm, and it's firmly sealed. Now, it. Well, <laughs> this may not seem like the nicest thing that I could do, but apparently. Uh. Well, you can eat them, and they do much as you might expect if you eat something that's mutated. It makes you really, really feel guilty. Other than that, it also mutates you. Much like mutagen, though I'm not sure the relative strengths, whether that's more powerful, less powerful, I don't know. Whether it have, has a higher chance of giving you a bad mutation. Uh, you can turn them into mutagen if you've got very high skills. And I might leave that for that occasion, perhaps. I don't know, because we do want to try and mutate a little bit more on the off chance that we get some nice new things, plus the potential to uh, get use up our purifier. What have we got in here? Okay, that appears to be a wall. Um, all right. A plastic bottle of salt water. Ooh, that'll allow us to salt some meat. And another room. Okay. Uh, a gallon jug of bleach, very good to have. We can use that as a water container, plastic bottle. Oh, thread, thank goodness. That's what we wanted. Another plastic bottle and a broom. No, we'll... Oh. We'll take the gallon jug of bleach. And uh, on that note, we're going to leave. I've run out of inventory space. And uh, I'm just going to close this door. And this door. We'll remember where we've been. It is now time to flee. Hopefully, we'll be able to get back out. Right, we're going to turn off the torch. It has served us well, but we need to be stealthy now. And we're carrying a jug of bleach in our hands. That's not good, because I need to be able to fight using my karate. But uh, if we can just get away, I'll be happy with that. Now, as I get closer to the house, I'm going to turn my torch back on. Okay, I'm going to apply the torch again because I do not want to walk into my own pits. And this significantly increases my view range. There, there we go. I don't need her anymore. I don't want to alert any uh, monsters to my presence. So this is good enough. And we can see the glow of the computer console there. Right, finally we are home. Home free, perhaps. Now, uh, I'm just going to drop some things let's uh, let's drop the bleach amongst these things which are the purifier and all that sort of stuff so gallon jug of bleach no there uh, where are you we want to drop the salt water and the other gallon jug of bleach anything else I think yeah we got some plenty of plastic bottles so we've dropped all of that what's over here uh, Okay, we'll drop the glasses here. Where are you reading glasses? The, we'll drop the sunglasses. Oh, we've got another dress shirt. Fantastic. Uh, reading glasses as well. We'll drop them there. Actually, we can probably wear the baseball cap, can't we? Yes. Let's just check that out. What is the baseball cap like? 
I thought it was very good. It gives a little bit of extra warmth and some environmental protection too. A Red Sox cap. It provides a little bit of warmth. Fair enough. That's good enough because uh, I don't think we had anything on our head previously. No, we didn't. So uh, that's the that's good. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Now we want to drop. What do we pick up? We picked up the duct tape. Well, actually, let me check. Does duct tape actually have a weight? Yes, it does. It has. Wow, it has a significant one actually. So yeah, we'll be dropping the duct tape. Um, we won't drop the thread. We'll use that to reload some of our stuff. We do want to drop some, let's see. I think the glow sticks weigh something, so we're probably gonna wanna drop that. We'll also drop the drama novel. That should be good. Drop the USB drive over here. Now, what else are we carrying? Uh, we've got batteries. I think the batteries weigh nothing. Yeah, th so they're fine. The glow sticks, they do consume volume. Uh, hmm. Well, they aren't really going to be as useful as, say, a flashlight. So I'm, I'm honestly going to just drop those for now. We'll drop them by here. So they can go down. Uh, we've got the stone hammer on us right now and the digging stick. And we can leave those for now because we're not going to actively be using them. Uh, what else? The scissors as well. So this is our pile of fur pelts, pointy sticks. Chunk of chitin. Plastic bottles. Uh, where's my sewing kit? Okay, it looks like this is my uh, also my area for doing sewing and other such things. So let's drop the screw the scissors. I'll drop the screwdriver with the electronics, and we'll keep the thread because we're about to do some work. And I think that's about it. So I'll just drop the screwdriver though. Right now, we want to pick up the sewing kit. So there we are. Actually, we'll take the scissors as well because we might be able to use that to cut some stuff up. Now, if I have a look at this dress shirt, it should be exactly the same as the one we're currently wearing. A white button down shirt with long sleeves. It looks professional, okay. Uh, what about the suit? I can only imagine that this will equally look professional. A full body cotton suit makes the apocalypse a truly gentleman. Oh, uh, what? You've said the key words. How can I possibly put you back down now? Damn you. Warmth 25 and storage 10, though. Uh, can we wear this under our trench coat? Because I would be very happy with that. All right, we're going to take off our trench coat. <laughs> then we're going to wear the suit. Am I wearing the suit? No, I pressed the wrong button, I believe. Right, let's wear this. Your arms are very encumbered. Melee and range combat is hampered. Damn. Okay, arms... Ooh, encumbered. Five. That's not good. But we are quite warm. Let's also wear the trench coat and just see how messed up we are now. <laughs> yeah. So, one plus six. Oh, I see how that works. I think the two is the number of items you're wearing, and then the one is any sort of encumberment that you have, and then it's multiplied, I think. That is a complete guess, and I could be easily wrong. But what we're going to do now is we're going to reload our sewing kit with thread, and then we're going to use it. We want to apply this to the suit first. Let's see if we can get that. You take your suit in, improving the fit. Fantastic. So this should now be a fitted suit with encumberment zero. Now, if we look at our encumberment, yeah, that's dropped it a fair bit. It, we're still encumbered because of just the sheer amount of items that we're wearing, though, which is a shame. 
So perhaps we do need to start dropping the, some of these items. I've got a lot of stuff that is now over my arms. Maybe I could drop the... Where is the sleeves? Ah, oh, they give a lot of warmth, but no carrying capacity. Ah, as much as I want to wear this suit under my trench coat, I don't think I'm going to be able to. Currently, melee attacks cost plus 60 movement points, and my melee skill is minus 3, and my dodge skill is minus 3. That's atrocious. Uh, yeah, I, as much as I would love to be able to wear this suit, I just don't think it's going to work. So, without wasting any more time on that. Now, oh, that's the map. I don't want that. If we have a look now, we're still losing two in our dodge skill. That's no good. I wonder where we're losing that, though. The only thing I can imagine is possibly a dress shirt. That covers the torso. Gives only a tiny bit of warmth as well. Um, and the ripped trench coat. No, oh, yes, sorry. That doesn't encumber, but it does cover the torso. We can't go without the trench coat, unfortunately. Is there anything else that I'm wearing? Oh, yeah, my t-shirt. Okay, I could possibly drop the t-shirt. Hmm. Let's see how that works. If I drop the t-shirt, will that then remove no still encumbered drat um hmm. so why is that encumbered then i don't understand let's apply our sewing kit and just repair the trench coat oh wow i've wasted a lot of that that's not good let's try and it there we go We've reinforced it again, which is a good thing. But we're still encumbered. So, let's remove the dress shirt, I guess. Will this help? Hmm. Torso is still encumbered, but I don't understand by what. Oh, the backpack. Damn you, backpack. Because I can't, clearly can't get rid of you. Uh, unless... Aha, wait, wait. Perhaps I can reinforce you uh, or make you fit. I don't know if that's going to work though. So apply and then backpack. Let's see. Yes, I can. Okay. Let's see if we can get this. Well, we've made it extra sturdy, if nothing else. Which is a good thing. It doesn't say it fits any better though, so unfortunately I think we're just gonna have to live with that one but you know that's at the end of the day that's that's an improvement and our torso has only gone down to one encumberment so I guess wow well, I think we took off our dress shirt as well didn't we now we, we'd best pick those things back up I think we absolutely need to keep these on so let's oh actually let's drop the uh, get the suit I wonder this may work I think it may work and if it does that would be awesome let's put that back on and check out yes our torso is only encumbered by two <laughs> and our arms are unfortunately encumbered by four but uh it says only in the accuracy with ranged weapons, but over in the description it said my melee and ranged combat is hampered, but uh, we don't know by how much and what. So I'm I'm willing to, to do this. I'm willing to live with this. We could perhaps take off the soft arm sleeves, though. I'm not sure. The suit is pretty cool, and the soft arm sleeves don't really go with that. Perhaps, yeah, let's take these off and then check. Didn't want the debug matches as well. Yeah, arms are back down to two, so that's not too bad. But warmth is down to 45. But if we're only, if our warmth isn't, like the warmth of our clothing isn't affecting our cold-blooded status, 
then it's not that big of a deal because if we want to make ourselves warm at night we can just put on extra layers of clothing and keep ourselves warm that shouldn't be an issue so we're going to get rid of that dress shirt we'll take that uh, I think we'll drop the arm sleeves because they do offer quite a lot of uh, warmth and those um, yeah I will we won't keep the socks though, but we'll keep the soft arm sleeves and the reinforced t-shirt. The rest is going to be cut up. So if we apply our scissors, which is curly, oh wait, what did I just do? Hmm. Oh, right. Yes, I did actually do the right thing. I just didn't realize that when I did that, it would remove it from the list. Because obviously you can't use the scissors to cut itself up. Derp. Right, so we're going to cut up our socks. Now, I'm hoping that by using the scissors, we're going to get more stuff out of this. I'm going to cut up the skirt. And let's just keep going. We're going to do the dress shirt. I know, I know. It pains me too. But uh, some sacrifices need to be made. Cargo pants, because we've got the army pants, and the torn dress shirt. There we are. Now, if we drop all of these rags, we should have a significant amount. I'm thinking that we may be able to make some... Oh, yeah, we can. Fantastic. We can make a house coat and a fur blanket. <laughs> we can make a fur hat, actually. Wow. Let's see you. It's 80 warmth and some decent bashing and cat protection. Uh, that's better than the uh, baseball cap by far let's think then if we do that that's going to take up three fur pelts we could or we could make oh we can make a fur blanket with rags oh that's cool okay yeah we'll make a, a fur hat then make it so oh no of course there's a chance that we might mess this up we cannot afford to mess it up because we've only got three fur pelts ha we've succeeded so let's take off this uh, baseball cap it didn't suit a jester let's face it he doesn't look he's you know he's in the apocalypse he's a, a gentleman vampire slayer uh baseball cap just kind of ruins that I'm not saying that a fur hat is going to make it any better but uh well come on it's going to be awesome trust me there we go now let's see if i can uh, improve that a little bit Oh, okay, well, I can't make that fit any better. But I don't mind too much. We should have a little bit of head encumberment, but uh, it has no effect. And that's 80 warmth right there. That is going to make sleeping very, very easy. I like. Next, let's have a look. What else can we make? We want a fur blanket. So 10 rags. Oh, I'm thirsty first time as well fantastic let's drop that here though because we don't really want to carry that around where is it fur blanket that's fantastic um we should also cut up the baseball cap if we can yep two rags nice and we'll drop those rags and finally let's see can we still make the house coat yes we can i could wear two fur blankets if i really wanted to but i don't uh, I would really like to make a pouch. Oh, we're out of charges. Damn it. Okay. What about rags? Can I cut them into... I can make a sheet. I can make a bed with that. Um... No. Uh, maybe we can cut the rags, though. Maybe we can cut them into... No, I don't think you can cut a rag into string. That doesn't really make that much sense. Even though it's made of string, you needs a different way of getting that out but a house coat would be the other thing for us so let's see if we can do that and yes we can how fantastic muck jester is no longer going to fear the cold when it comes to sleeping but he is going to fear being hungry and thirsty so let's have the last of our hot cooked food ah, and look at our skills they're going up quite, quite well and let's eat another one as well there we go we're now full and also let's drink some of our water now we're gonna have to start getting water because we are running low there we go 
I think Jaxa is pretty chuffed with the way things are going. Though, wow, look at our cold blooded. Minus 4% to our speed. Our combat and dodge are starting to rust, and so is construction, but everything else is doing okay. We are skill 3 in tailoring. That is pretty cool. We want to get to skill 2 in survival, though. That's where we'll get the stone shovel. And once we've got that, we can improve the pits and do all sorts of other things. But that is it for this episode. Jester has managed to get through a... Well, it wasn't quite midnight. It was about 3 o'clock in the morning. A raid on a science lab. We found some things. Some things we didn't want to find, like the goo pit and the uh, mutated body parts in that canister. But uh, some things we definitely did want to find, like the, the massive gallon jugs. They will come in very useful for us later on. Not so much for the bleach that they contain, but we can pour them out and fill them up with water and uh, use that as a way to bring lots of water back to the base. And yeah, we might, if we can get rid of that turret, I'm thinking making that science lab our base would be very, very, yeah, good. I, I'm fairly sure it's a bit of a better place than this one, which has just got boarded up windows all over the place. That one's got proper like metal doors, though I don't know how to get the doors to go back up. That will be the trick. But I hope to see you in the next episode where I will probably have done a bit of reading to get rid of some of my EXP and maybe even gotten a few more skills up. But uh, the next thing I think is to go back to the lab. Maybe in the day, maybe wait till night again and do some more exploration. But until then, do take care.